Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and this is the second video in a three-part series on Excel filters. In the last video, I explained how to get started with filters, and we looked at some of the advantages of using Excel tables for filtering our data. I also explained some shortcuts for navigating filtered ranges. In this video, I'm going to explain keyboard shortcuts for the filter drop-down menus. We spend a lot of time applying filters to our data, and learning these keyboard shortcuts can make this task much faster and easier. So here I have a sample data set, and we already have the filters applied here, and this is actually an Excel table uh, with the filters applied. And like I explained in the last video, you can turn the filters on or off uh, by going to the Data tab in the ribbon and clicking the Filter button, and the keyboard shortcut for that is Control-Shift-L. Control-Shift-L will toggle the filters on or off. But for this video, we're more focused on the filter drop-down menus, and the filter drop-down menus are these menus here when you press the filter drop down button right here and we can open this menu with the keyboard shortcut and also access all of these commands within the menu with the keyboard shortcut so in this video we're going to focus on these tasks so if I have this select this cell selected here in the header I can press and hold the alt key on the keyboard and then hit the down arrow and that will open the filter drop down menu here so alt down arrow opens the filter drop down menu and then you can also press the up and down arrows on the keyboard to cycle through these uh, items here in the list and then press enter uh, to press one of those buttons. Now you can also use uh, these underlined letters here within the items. These are called accelerator keys and you can see here that the S is underlined here so uh, alt down arrow and then S would press this command to sort A to Z. Uh, o would press this command to sort Z to A and you can see all of these items here in the list uh, the text filters they all have underlying letters so to get to this we'd press F and then all of these uh, commands in the submenu also have underlined letters here that we can press uh, to create keyboard shortcuts for all these commands. So of course you don't have to memorize every single one of these, uh, but there are a few that I'm going to cover that can really save us a lot of time. So again, if I were to not use the mouse, I'll just uh, select the product here and I'll hit Alt down arrow to open the uh, filter drop down menu. And let's say I want to sort this uh, Z to A, I would hit the letter O on the keyboard and that will sort this column Z to A right here. So Alt down arrow O is a keyboard shortcut to sort Z to A. Now, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for the filter drop-down menus, I'm going to hit Alt down arrow again to open uh, these, the filter drop-down menu here. And you'll see that there's a search box right here. And this search box allows us to filter down the items in this list box down below. However, there's no underlined letter here to jump down to the search box. We don't see an accelerator key there, but a little secret here is that that key is the letter E. So if you press the letter E on the keyboard, and I'll do that right now, I'm gonna press the letter E, you can see now that my text cursor has been placed in the search box here, and I can start typing a search. So if I just start, if I type the letter B there, that would filter down my list for anything that contains B, which in this case is product B and also blanks. And then I can hit the enter key on the keyboard to apply that filter. I can also press the escape key here. I press the escape key to clear that filter. So that would clear the, the filter or the, the search box there. And uh, we can start typing our search again. And you can press the escape key again to close the filter drop down menu. So, again, real quickly, if I wanted to, I'll go to the color uh, f field here, the color column here. If I wanted to uh, quickly filter this column for only red, I hit Alt down arrow, E on the keyboard, and then I'll start typing the word red there. And you can see I've typed red right here. And then I'll just hit enter on the keyboard, and that will filter down this column for the word red. So very fast way to filter there using the uh, alt down arrow keyboard shortcut with the letter E, and then typing your search and hitting enter. Now, of course, we can also use keyboard shortcuts to clear the filters. So I'll hit alt down arrow again on the keyboard there, and I'm in my color column, column F. And we can see here to clear the filter from this particular column, the keyboard shortcut there is C, the letter C. So if I hit Alt, Down Arrow, and then C, that will clear that particular filter for that column only. Now, if I wanted to clear all of the filters on all of the columns, uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is Alt, 
A, C. So uh, press and release the Alt key, then we hit A on the keyboard. That will take us to the data tab in the ribbon. And then you can see uh, the letter C right here is over the clear button, uh, which will clear all filters. So if I hit C now, that will clear all the filters in this range or table. Now, one other uh, little super tip, if you are using Excel tables, and I highly recommend you do, if you have a long list of data here, if you're scrolled way down uh, thousands of rows and you wanna press that uh, filter drop down menu button, you can select any cell here, any cell uh, within the column. So if I wanted to open the filter drop down menu for this particular column, the product column, I can have any cell selected and then I'm gonna uh, press Shift, Alt, down arrow. So hold Shift, Alt and then down arrow, and that will open the filter drop down menu no matter where you are in the table. So you can have any cell selected and press Shift Alt down arrow, and that will open the filter drop down menu. And then, of course, you could press any of the keyboard shortcuts there to apply filters. So, great little tip there. And then, one other advantage of Excel tables that I did not explain in the last video is that as we scroll down here, I'll scroll back up to the top. You can see as we scroll to the uh, top, we have our header row right here with the filter drop down menus. As I scroll down, I'm just going to scroll down the sheet. You can see that the header row here has been replaced with the header names of the table. And we also have our filter drop down menus right here. So we can go ahead and click on those. So it's another great feature of tables here. You don't have to freeze the panes in the top row. You can just scroll down and you'll still see your header names right there in the column header. All right, so let's take a look at filtering for some other common data types, including blanks, zeros, and errors. So we often will filter a column for blanks. And of course, if we hit, we could see that this column here has some blanks in it, some blank cells. And what we often do is click this filter drop down menu. I'll uncheck select all here, and then I will click the uh, blanks checkbox right there and hit OK, and that will filter for blanks. However, there is a keyboard shortcut that makes this process a lot faster. So I'm going to clear that. So I'm gonna hit Alt down arrow here on the keyboard, and then I'm gonna hit the letter F to open the filters menu there, and then the letter E uh, for the equals there. So you can see text filters, F, and then E right here, then and I'll just click E, and that will open the custom auto filter uh, window. And then we're just gonna say equals, and we're gonna leave this blank because we want it to equal a blank and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and that will filter for blanks. So again, I'll hit Alt down arrow C to clear that and I'll show you that again. So basically the keyboard shortcut is Alt down arrow F E enter. So Alt down arrow F E enter will filter for blanks. It's, it sounds like a lot, but once you get it learned and memorized, you could filter for blanks uh, in a less than a second. So it's really, really fast. Now, if we want to filter for zeros, I'm going to hit alt down arrow C to clear that filter. If we wanted to filter for zeros, another common task that we typically do and maybe uncheck here and check the checkbox there to filter for zeros, we can use that same custom auto filter menu instead. So alt down arrow, F E will open that. And then I'm just going to type a zero here and hit enter on the keyboard and that will filter for zero. So alt down arrow F E zero enter is a keyboard shortcut for that. Another common one uh, we filter for is errors. So I'll clear this filter. We can see that this column here has some errors in it right here. And there's a few ways to go about that. A lot of times, we'll again, we'll hit this uh, drop down. We'll go down to the bottom of the list here and then filter and check our errors. Uh, but we can also use the search box for that. So if I hit Alt down arrow and then hit E to jump into the search box. If I just type the uh, number symbol here, hashtag or pound or whatever we call it these days, uh, we'll see that this uh, is, list is automatically filtered down for anything with that number sign, that number symbol. And of course, if your uh, data has text and it has that number symbol anywhere else, then those items will also be included. But oftentimes this will filter everything down for just the errors because the, all the errors start with the number symbol there. And then if you can hit enter on the keyboard and that will filter for all the errors in your column. So again, alt down arrow, hit the E key on the keyboard and then just type the uh, hashtag or number symbol and hit enter and that will filter for errors. 
So another one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts is filtering for a selected cell's value. So let's say you're scrolled way down in your table here somewhere and you wanna filter for the cell that uh, you currently have selected. Let's say we wanna filter for West, the region column, we wanna filter for West. One really simple way to do that is if you right click here on the keyboard, or I'm sorry, right click on the cell and then uh, go to filter, you can choose this option that says filter by selected cells value. So I'm just gonna choose that and that will automatically apply a filter for the selected cells value right there. So that's a very easy way to quickly apply a filter for any value in any cell. And we can also do that with the keyboard shortcut. So the key, if your keyboard has a menu key key, you can use that to open the right click menu. The menu key is typically located on the right side of the keyboard between the alt and control keys. So if I hit the menu key on the keyboard, you'll see that that brings up the uh, right click menu here. And then these also have accelerator keys, these underlined uh, letters here. So if I uh, type E, if I just do menu and then hit E, and then I can uh, press V for the value uh, right here. So I'll press V on the keyboard and that will filter by the selected cells value and apply that filter. So basically the keyboard shortcut is menu key E V. Menu key E V will uh, apply the selected cells value or the filter for the selected cells value. So it's a great little handy keyboard shortcut that can really save you a lot of time when applying filters. Now, one other thing we spend a lot of time doing with filters is trying to find the column that we want to apply a filter to. So here again, I have a bigger data set with more columns in it, which is something we're more probably more used to working with. And we spend a lot of time scrolling back and forth left and right to try and find the column we're looking for to apply a filter to. And this can be very time consuming. So one Excel shortcut for this is that if you select any cell inside the header row here, I just have this cell selected right here and then I hold down the shift key and press space bar, that will uh, select the entire row. So shift space bar selects the entire row. And now I can use the find menu, control F on the keyboard will bring up the find menu here. And I can just type a search for the column name that I'm looking for. So if I know I'm looking for the category column, I can type the word category and hit enter, and that will jump me over to the category column right here. And then of course I can uh, close this and use the filter drop down menu to go apply my filters. So that's one little shortcut there with control F. Now the FilterMate add-in has a feature that makes this process much faster and easier. So once you install FilterMate, uh, just select any cells inside the range or the table here, and you'll see the Excel campus tab appear on the ribbon. And then we're gonna click the uh, FilterMate button and that'll bring up this window here, this filter mate window. And the first thing you'll see is a list of all the column names right here. So there's a list of all the column names in the table right here. And you also see a search box right here where we can type a search. So if I knew I was looking for a specific column, maybe I'm looking for my product column and I start typing the word name, uh, you can see that that filters down, that search filters down the column list here for all of the items that contain my search criteria. It doesn't have to start with the name, it just can contain the name. And then I can use the up or down arrow keys on the keyboard to find product name and hit enter on the keyboard or double click that item. And that will take me to the product name column and select it right here. And it also sets focus back to Excel, which means I can now press alt down arrow to open the filter drop down menu. So I can do all of this with keyboard shortcuts. And then of course I can go apply a filter. So maybe I hit E on the keyboard and I start typing the word chocolate filter down that list and hit OK. And now I've filtered down my list here uh, for anything that contains chocolate. And I can continue to do that with FilterMate. So if I wanted to uh, look at my salesperson, I'll just type the word salesperson in my search here, hit enter. That'll jump me over to the salesperson field, alt down arrow, I'll hit E on the keyboard. Maybe I want to filter down for Andrew and hit OK. And you can just continue to do this. So maybe I also want to filter my quantity column. I'll do that as well. Maybe I want anything greater than 80, so I'll hit F there and then G for greater than, and I'll type 80 and hit enter 
and now I've filtered down for everything greater than 80 with all three of those criteria. So you can see that FilterMate makes this process really fast, just lightning fast for you to go ahead and apply filters and also find the columns that you're looking for when you're working with large data sets. So that video was packed with a ton of keyboard shortcuts. Don't worry about memorizing all of these at once. You can download this file that contains more detailed instruction for each shortcut and use it as a guide to learn all of them. I recommend practicing these shortcuts as much as you can and they will become second nature in no time. In the next video, I'm going to explain some techniques for applying filters to multiple columns. You will learn about the logic and rules that Excel uses, and I will also explain some techniques for applying OR logic to multiple columns. Did I miss any important keyboard shortcuts in this video? Please leave a comment below with your favorite keyboard shortcut for the filter drop-down menus, or you can let us know which one is your new favorite. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.